Folks, welcome to round six of the Joffers in the Bronx YouTube tipping show. Last week we had uh, the great uh, man himself, Trout. This week, please say hello to John. This is John. And please say hello to Jane. Hello, Jane. And all wearing the splendid gold, getting ready for the big uh, Collingwood uh, onslaught on the, uh, on the weekend. We'll just do some fashion rearranging here. There he is, that's it, good. Now, um, uh, what a, and the phone rings just as we start, of course. What a great uh, round of football this is going to be. Um, to kick off round six, we've got Collingwood and St Kilda. I'm tipping here that the floodgates open for Collingwood. This could be the biggest, uh, the biggest win for the season for the Pies. Uh, Clayk uh, in, in top form, although he's a little bit out of sorts last week. I'm really tipping a, a, a Collingwood onslaught here, a big Collingwood victory for the Magpies to get uh, the percentage up and going again. Uh, don't write off the pie. Don't write off the pies after last week. Uh, that game was a lot closer than what uh, than what the scoreboard suggested. Uh, so in this game, uh, me Joffa is going for Collingwood by 87 points, and to John, John will Collingwood win. There you go, you got it. John's going for the pies. And uh, how much, uh, John, how much do you reckon? 57 points. Well, there you go. So John's on the Maggies. Jane, will the pies win? Look at that. That's fantastic. We're all on the, all on the one side here. How much uh, by Jane? <laughs> Jane thinks they'll get up by 45 points. Good on you, Jane. Well done. Okay, game two of round six. Let's move on here. We've only got 15 minutes to do this. Uh, Essendon versus GWS. This, oops, we're falling here. I, um, oh, Essendon will smash GWS, there's no doubt about that. I'm trying to get myself in a good position here. It's not working this way. Yes. Essendon will smash uh, GWS. This could be write your own ticket. Uh, Essendon in great form. It's a shame that uh, uh, the off field uh, drug uh, things is. Uh, He's sort of dominating the Essendon headlines at the moment because Essendon are a very good side and they will thrash Greater Western Sydney. Um, write your own ticket, uh, 80 points plus. It could even be 100 points. Uh, John, will Essendon beat GWS? Yes, that's a yes. And how much why? 97 points. Jane, yes, will uh, Essendon beat GWS? Of course they will, Jane. You know your football. Uh, how much why? Mm -hmm. 58 points. Well, that could be a close one, Jane, if it's only 58 points. Now, next game, North Melbourne versus Port Adelaide. Let's move on here. Um, North Melbourne versus Port Adelaide. North Melbourne were very good against Hawthorne and very unlucky. Uh, Port Adelaide haven't uh, had a loss yet, but I've just got to... Oh, look, I'm not too sure about Port Adelaide. I, I think that maybe their first loss may, be, may bring them back down to earth. I, I don't know if they're as good as what they... Uh, are at the minute, uh, Port. I'm tipping North Melbourne to beat Port Adelaide. I think North Melbourne are very good, although they've only won the one game. A uh, little bit close. Uh, gee, I'm not sure about this. Look, I think I think North by six goals. Um, uh, John, North Melbourne or Port Adelaide. Will North Melbourne win or will North Melbourne... Will North Melbourne win? Well, well we won't confuse the... You're only a dummy. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, uh, I'm just saying. Uh, well, North win. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a big yes to, to North Melbourne win. How much by John? Okay, John's going for 37 points. Jane, have your say on the uh, the North Melbourne Port Adelaide clash. Will North Melbourne win? Yes, see, we're all on the same thing here. North Melbourne will win. Just get your head straight up there, Jane. And you know, good heads. There you go. Lovely. Look at that beautiful heads. Look at that. But don't move now. Okay, so we've all gone by North Melbourne. Uh, would you like to suggest a margin, uh, Jane? You wouldn't. Okay, fair enough. That's all. Well, that's your decision. Um, moving on to the next game. Adelaide versus Hawthorne. And gee whiz, I watched the Hawthorne uh, game last week against North Melbourne. And I thought Hawthorne uh, were probably a little bit lucky. I think with uh, Cyril Rioli missing for uh, four to six weeks, I, I, I think the... Uh, his injury was, I, I, I uh, but it, look, 
we can rave on about how lucky Hawthorne were to win last week and how bad they played and how bad Buddy played. Hawthorne should easily account for, for Adelaide. Um, and I think Hawthorne will come back with uh, vengeance this week after uh, um, after their close, uh, unconvincing performance last week against North. So I think Hawthorne will win by five goals against Adelaide. Jane, will Hawthorne beat Adelaide? Would you like to tip a margin on the outcome, Jane? Not important, Jane says. Hey, that's fair enough, Jane. John, will Adelaide beat Hawthorne? Yes, of course they will. You know your football, John. I'm very pleased with you, mate. But so do you, Jane. Here we go. Look at that. Like, don't fall. We don't want heads all over the place here. Okay, so we, we've all gone for um, Hawthorne to beat uh, Adelaide. Gold Coast versus Fremantle. And gee whiz, aren't Fremantle playing great football? Uh, uh, you wouldn't think that Gold Coast could win this game, although, um, gee whiz. Uh, Fremantle without Fife. Gee, that's a big loss to Fremantle. Uh, you'd still have to say Fremantle to beat Gold Coast. John, will Fremantle beat Gold Coast? No. Oh, John, you're going for the Gold Coasters. That's fair enough. Jane, will Fremantle beat Gold Coast? Yes, yes. Thank you, Jane. And thank you, John, of course. Uh, margins are important here. Uh, next game, we've got to move we've move on here at six minutes a uh, minute here in Je uh, Richmond versus Geelong. Richmond uh, a pretty good side, and I felt that Richmond were unlucky to lose last week for a variety of reasons. I, I think that uh, overall the umpiring standards this year, goal, field, whatever, has been very poor. I think Richmond should have won that game last week against Rio. They didn't. I think they will bounce back this week with a win over the Pussycats. And the Pussycats weren't that convincing against the Bulldogs last week. So I'm tipping Richmond. Some people may um, may uh, say to you that'll be an upset, but I don't think it would be an upset if Richmond were to beat Geelong. So I'm going for the Tigers. John, can the Tigers get up over the Pussycats? They can. Any margin there, John? No margin. That's fair enough, Jane. Can the Tigers get over Geelong Cats? Yes, they can. Okay, thank you. Then would you like to... Ooh. Mm. Wow. Jane says one point. Richmond will beat you on by one point. So put that down in your book. Tigers, moving on to the next game now. Round six. Swans versus Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane are terrible. Brisbane are very, very... They're bad. Brisbane are bad. Um, oh, you'd have to go for the Swans. John... Yeah, right. We're all going for the Swans here. Okay, it's really a, a, a. I don't know what sort of a game that'll be, but it doesn't. It's, it, it's not really appealing. Now, West Coast versus the Western Bulldogs. Where's my? They run away and don't take over the show, John and Jane, while I'm away. Hang on. The Bulldogs. The mighty Bulldogs. There we go. There's my Bulldog membership. And best of luck to the Bulldogs against West Coast. And I'm sticking with the Bulldogs. I reckon the Bulldogs can upset West Coast. What do you reckon, uh, guys? Uh, John, can the Bullies upset the West Coasters? Yes, Jane? No. Okay, move on. Next game. Thank you. Oh, don't fall over there. Don't do that. Next game. Uh, and this is the last game of the round in round six. Carlton versus Melbourne. And I think uh, I said last week, I, I thought Carlton were better than what... Uh, some people are saying, I, I think Carlton are a very good side, to be quite honest with you. Um, uh, they will, gee whiz, they, they could, uh, this this could be an embarrassment, the, the result uh, from this game. This may finish Mark Neal as coach of the Melbourne Football Cup. I, I think that the, the result in this game will be that great. Um, I think Mark Neal will probably uh, resign or be sacked as coach. Um, guys, Carlton or Melbourne, uh, let's go ladies first. Jane, you look very nice tonight, Jane. Too. You look very pretty. You've got your lipstick on, see that lipstick? It's terrific. You're looking all right, Jane. Jane, Carlton and Melbourne. Who will win? Carlton. Carlton will win. And how much by Jane? Oh, jeez, by Jane goes. 147 points. John, you know your football. You're a, you're a, 
uh, an astute character of the game. You study the game. You know what's going on. Will Carlton beat Melbourne? Yes. How much by would you like to? Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, John. John said that if Melbourne, if Melbourne were to start now, they still couldn't beat Carlton. Wow, John, that's unbelievable. Fancy saying you're going to upset a lot of Melbourne supporters out there, John. But we're all entitled to an opinion. Now, that's the last game of the round. Uh, if anyone would like to buy a... Uh, you're hogging the camera, used to. If anyone would like... Uh, no, no, don't fall. Don't fall. If anyone would like to buy a Joffa doll, please PM me on Facebook. And don't forget, folks... Joffa the Movie is still around town. There it is there, Joffa the Movie. Um, www.madman.com.au. That's the distribution people. And, uh, and when you get to that website, just search Joffa the Movie and you'll be able to order online. So, folks, it's been a great, uh, great uh, moment in bringing, introducing you to Jane and John. And we'll see you next week with a very special guest next week in round seven so look out for that one and we hope your team wins and over and out goodbye goodbye bye 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 bye